Hi, this is Jared from Risk It Discs. Today I'm gonna be. Hi, this is Jared from Risk It Discs. Hi, hi, this is Jared from Risk It Discs. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the Dyer's Guild Gold Box, which is basically like a disc dyeing laboratory in a little box, like this big. And no, I'm not getting paid for this, but sometimes I do like to act like Fred Durst when I win my local weekly. Inside, there are items to assist with every different dyeing technique, from spin dyes to lotion dyes, glue beds to Floatrol. Now, let's go open it up and I'll talk about what's inside. But before that, go check out my only feed. You can find this Dyer's Guild Gold Box at dyersguild.co. I'll also put the link in the description below. If you pick one up, just put the risk of disc code in the thing to get a discount. <laughs> Anyways, this is a great kit that helps people from beginners to advanced to help dye a disc in any way that they want. Let's go check it out. So today, on my front doorstep, I found this. This is the Disc Golf Dyers Guild Gold Box. Um, that is a starter set for beginner disc golf dyers. And um, I didn't know it at this point because I hadn't opened it up yet, but I was about to find something really awesome. Um, there's a lot of things in here for beginners and advanced disc golf dyers alike, or obsessed disc golf dyers alike, who think they have everything. I thought I had a lot of stuff um, in my garage, but this box added a lot of things that um, was really beneficial to my process. So, box itself, beautiful. That logo is fire. Um, as we open it up, the aesthetic of this box is just so awesome. The like craft your piece at the top pointing down is really cool. Uh, first thing, some art. I love to see it. Um, some Dyer's Guild stickers, one of them being kind of like an oil slick shiny looking one, which is really cool. Could go on your cart. Um, a thank you card um, that um, has a QR code on the back. Um, so um, you can get discounts on things that, on their website, I think. A magic eraser. Um, magic eraser slash sponge for cleaning off your discs before you go ahead and start dyeing them. Um, then this little baggie had some micro pipettes made out of this like high density polymer plastic, um, a straw for blowing around. Um, glue beds or Floetrol beds. I wouldn't assume that that's HDPE, but the pipettes in there are so that you can pull up acetone and denatured alcohol when you've got your dye, uh, when you're doing like glue beds or whatever. Um, and then there's some um, Q-tips in there, which are great for spin dyes, things like that. And then we're getting to the, uh, the meat and potatoes here. We've got some different colors um, from Pro Chemical and Dye. Got dandelion, blood red, sonic blue, onyx, creamsicle, shamrock, and pansy, all um, one teaspoon, which um, is great. Um, I'll probably be using those to make a few more acetone mixtures. So, what else we got? More q tips. And we got a squeegee. This is something I did not have. I'd always just used a credit card. Um, probably not the best thing to do to my credit card, but this is a lot more rigid and got the air bubbles out really easily when I laid down a stencil on it. Um, Dave's Spin Dye Jig Rig, which he 3D prints, which is pretty rad. And uh, you can put that onto a record player to raise your disc up above the, the pin that's on the center of the record player so that you can um, spin dye your discs a lot easier. You don't have to cut it off like some people do with a hacksaw. Okay. Um, I'm a nurse in the ER, and when I saw these gloves, I was like, all right, I'll be the best judge of judge of gloves in the game. I promise you that. Um, I thought they were cool. They're black. They didn't rip apart. They fit my hands. My hands are big. They're like size, literally size eight in surgical gloves. And so when I saw those gloves in there, I was like, awesome touch. It's really good to keep dye off your hands so that when you go out places, you don't like you're playing with markers or whatever um, and then some tweezers that are great for um, weeding your stencils uh, they're a little sharp for me but that's okay um, they're great for getting out little 
pieces of stencils, even tiny little bubbles. You can pop with those. A shop towel in there. Uh, good for wiping things off. And then more meat and potatoes. Uh, every disc golf dyer has got to have one of these pans to hold your medium in it so you can dye your discs. So um, these are great for mixing acetone or denatured alcohol with your pigments and um, letting them sit in there. You're not going to have to worry about these melting because they are the high density polymer um, as well. So you can pour really strong solvents into these and they're not going to melt like I've done before. The first time I ever dyed discs I had like a some cheap really cheap plastic cup from Safeway and poured acetone in there and it immediately started pouring out of the sides. So don't do that. Don't want to call in the hazmat team. Um, and then here are some uh, little mini micro like precision dropper bottles that are great for doing like lotion painting or applying lotion in really thin lines in certain areas. Um, these were things I didn't have in my plethora of dyeing supplies, so um, I was glad to see those. And then, um, pretty rad, got some funnels. I thought these were like minis, like mini stencils at first, but then I was like, oh wait, they're paper funnels, so you can funnel your dye powders into other containers or whatever. And then dye formulas for um, different mediums that you mix with. So whether you're doing like just an acetone pigment dye or you're doing Floetrol, it has all the different um, mixtures in there. And again, the funnels, genius, um, genius idea. And then last but not least, uh, I had a nice, perfect disc sized piece of vinyl that had already had a stencil cut into it, already had transfer tape on it. Um, so all I had to do was bust that out of the box and lay it on a disc and I was dying in minutes. So disc dying in minutes. Anyways, let's go on to the next stuff. So I decided to start it off with a stencil die. I created a stencil and I put it with the cutter and then I centered up the disc with the laser pointer. Once I got the disc centered, I centered the center of the stencil onto the disc and then I used the provided um, scraper flattening tool to flatten it out. And the vinyl I found to be really, really nice. It stuck really well. It wasn't a slick surface on top, which is a pet peeve of mine on some vinyl. Um, and it just felt really good. Um, the logo on there obviously looks great as well, so I was excited to dye it. I decided to do this uh, other disc as well, um, just on the side, since I'd have a bed ready to go. Might as well do twice. Do two, sorry. And I mixed up a couple colors, um, Blood Red, Creamsicle, and Dandelion. And I just wanted to show how that gets pulled up into the micro pipette, although I decided to go with uh, a dye style that I kind of started doing a couple years ago, just using the point of a Q-tip. And luckily there were some Q-tips included in the kit. So I was able to start putting that down. Um, not soaking too much so I don't get the vinyl um, you know, I don't melt the vinyl around some of those fine, crisp edges, but um, doing this won't really cause any lifting of the vinyl, so I didn't have to worry. So I just used the three different colors and I kind of blended. Um, I didn't really care where exactly I went um, with each color, but I decided to just blend it all up. Uh, I wanted to make um, Dyer's Guild pop out a little bit, so I just went with pretty solid colors on those. Um, I thought they turned out pretty well. I uh, cut out a little bit there, but I ended up hitting the edge with a little bit of light onyx uh, mixture so that it would provide some shadowing around that ring. And then I went to weed the rest of the vinyl out. This is the part where the tweezers got a little sharp on me, but that's okay. They were much better than using my fingernails, which can sometimes move around the dye on the white part of the disc that you don't want to get dyed. So then I removed the rest of it off and um, that's how it turned out. So I want to send this over to Dave. Um, 
Maybe he can put it somewhere on his wall or put it in his bag, but this was a MVP Watt, and I thought that that logo looked pretty darn good. Um, each one of his boxes come with different logos and stencils, so it'll be a surprise to see which one you get. Overall, I find this gold box to be very useful. Um, I already have a garage full of supplies. I think I have everything that I need, but then I pick up this box, and what do you know, it's got some things in there that I'm missing that better my, um, better my dying game. This box combines many things together um, that you're gonna need in your arsenal to die discs, especially when you wanna start going off the beaten path and developing your own style. Many of the things included in the box here are things that a new beginner disc dyer might not think about, and so that shows that a lot of thought went into this box from the people over at Dyer's Guild. For example, the HDPE bottles that you can mix acetone and dye together in and put that inside the bottle. Um, the first time I ever dyed discs, I poured my acetone into a cheap plastic cup and within five to 10 seconds, it was melting through the bottom on the sides. Um, so little things like that are things that you might not think of. Also the dyes themselves, they are pro chem. There is no one better in the dye game, period. I will say that when trying to remove the stencil with the weeding tweezers, I found that they were really sharp and um, I couldn't always grab onto the vinyl to pull it off the disc. Um, but that could just be me and my technique not being that great. Um, I was kind of poking at it, whereas maybe if I would have laid them sideways, I could have grabbed more. Um, I just find that they're really sharp and um, kind of poked through the vinyl, but I'm probably just doing it wrong, to be honest. But aside from that one little thing, this box gives you all the essentials that you need to get going, as well as many extras to help you along in your creative process. Go find this super rad box at dyersguild.co and if you're interested in picking up a couple dyed discs, you can find some there as well as on my Etsy, right here. I'm new to this. The camera was off. <laughs>